Hello world, Shelly here, and it's time for another unboxing and try on of my latest Dia & Co box. If you're not familiar with Dia & Co, they are a subscription personal styling service for plus sizes, and I have been using them for over two years now. This is not sponsored, I just love this service, and I've used it for a very, very long time. And the way the service works, you subscribe to a box, you will be charged a $20 styling fee, you'll be assigned a stylist, which if you like that stylist, you can request to keep using the same stylist or you can request a different stylist. And that stylist is going to pick out for you four to five brand new items that they will send to you to try on in the comfort of your own home for five days. You can look at what you've got in your closet, compare it, mix and match, see what you've got, see what they're giving you. You can use their style recommendations, all that good stuff. If you like anything in the box and you keep any of the items, they will credit back that $20 styling fee to you. So essentially it's a free service at that point. If you don't like any of it, you can send it all back. The only risk is your $20 styling fee. You will not get that back if you don't keep any of the items, but shipping is free, so you don't have to worry about that. If you like the entire box, they will give you an additional 25% off the entire box. So I like them. I like the fact that I get a lot of outfit combination ideas and things like that. I'm pretty fashion challenged. I. I don't know what goes with what. I don't pair items well. I, it, I've never been good at it. So this has been a valuable service to me. It's a learning experience as well. And a lot of times they send me stuff to try that I would never have picked off the rack to try myself. So I love Dia. And I am currently working with a stylist named Miranda. I think this is the third box that she's styling me. I had a couple boxes in there when my previous love, oh, Cricket, I miss you, but <laughs> Miranda, girl, I don't want to spoil this whole video, but let me tell you, I think Miranda gets me better than any stylist ever has, and I've had some really good stylists at Dia. So every time you order, you will get this little package. Let me reassemble it you get this little packet of information and in it, there's the prices. Now I do not look at my prices until after I've tried all the outfits on because I don't want the price to influence whether I like the piece or not. Then you also get a note from your stylist. So Miranda says, hi Shelly, get ready to strut your stuff in your very own fashion show because it's Dia Day. Pair the pieces inside this box with some staples from your closet and share the looks with friends and family. The other thing you can do with Dia is on their website, they have their store and you can choose up to three items that you pick to put in your box and then your stylist will just fill the rest of the box up to your five items. So this time I had picked two tops and a pair of shorts. And so that's what Miranda's referring to here. She says, let's check out outfit number one. These shorts you picked out are going to be a fabulous addition for spring and summer. Throw them on with either of the amazing tops you added. We'll start with the first one. The off-the-shoulder top is perfect for the 70s revival trend with some fringe booties or wedge sandals. So let's take a look at this outfit. The top, I'm not wearing it off the shoulder, but the top neckline is elasticized. If I wanted to pull it down as an off-the-shoulder top, and it's very flowy. I love the sort of bell sleeve cutout. It's very, you know, hippie 70s. I'm, I'm a tree hugger at heart and it suits my hippie aesthetic side very often, very often, very well. So thumbs up on this one. I of course picked this outfit, but I definitely like it. I think it is super cute. I will probably wear it with a cami underneath because it's so flowy that if you catch a breeze, it's the kind where your shirt would fly up like Marilyn Monroe style. And uh, I don't like my bare belly to show because my bare belly is, I got a belly. So I'll probably wear it normally with a cami underneath, but let's take a look at how much these items are. The shorts are the Seabury Cuffed Short from Mary Sky Light Wash, size 20, retail price $38. 
And the Rachel off the shoulder blouse is from Downing Studio. It is size 3X, retail price $49. So thumbs up on that first outfit. Let's check back to Miranda's note with outfit number two. The tie-dye not front blouse is killer with some classic sneakers. So I am wearing this with a pair of slink jeans, which these jeans did not come from a Dia box, but the very first pair of slink jeans that I ever got came from a Dia box. And it's how I learned that slink jeans are the perfect rise for me. I have trouble even with mid-rise jeans with the rise being too high. The way, I, the way I wear my spare tire of a belly, I can't pull my jeans up any higher. And that makes it so that either the jeans roll down at, at the waist or they slide down and then the crotch and the butt are just hanging like three inches too low than they should. And it looks like I'm walking around with a load in my drawers. And uh, that's not cute. So slink jeans, definitely. Their rise is, you know, the eight to nine inch-ish on their mid-rise. And it's perfect. I could use it just a half inch lower, but it's as perfect as it's going to get. If you're like me and you wear your weight the same way, the Torrid mid-rise boyfriend cut jeans are also very close to wearable. They're my second favorite. And then if you can find low rise in the old navy jeans, they don't have them very often. They come, come and go. Like I just got a couple pairs of boyfriend jeans in their low rise. And their low rise is about the same as the mid rise of Slink and Torrid. So that's some information for you if you're looking for that. But spoiler alert, <laughs> love this outfit. Uh, I'm wearing the top here again now. The thing with the tie front, you know, the knot front tops, I know they're super trendy right now, but a lot of times that knot hits at a really unflattering place on me and just like sits on my belly roll, which is not cool. But this one actually, it I think it falls at a flattering place. And so it doesn't look like it's accentuating my waist where I carry the most weight. Uh, I like it. And plus, look how nice it matches my hair. I know, you know, it's weird because in these lights, my hair doesn't look as purple as I thought it would in the studio lights. I really thought it would because when I look at it, it's purple. And when I'm out in daylight, it is purple. But look how nice it goes with this shirt. <laughs> uh, as soon as I saw that, I'm like, yep, that's mine. So yeah, I like I like this outfit too. I'm wearing it with a pair of pink Converse. Chucks are classic sneakers, right? So let's let's check out what, what damage we're doing here. So this is the Elise Dolman sleeve, not front blouse. It's by Mary Sky as well. It is size 3X, retail price $42. And the jeans are not Dia, so they're not on this list. Okay, we have one more outfit to go. Let's check back in with Miranda. She says, finally, I just couldn't pass up this yellow plaid dress and the purple denim jacket. Just add combat boots. All right, Miranda, you've been looking me up. So she must have watched the link to the last video I did. So I send, I, I have a Pinterest board where I put style items that I like that are my style. And I send that to my stylist. And then I also send them the links to these videos so they can kind of see how clothes fit me. And uh, I wore combat boots in the last one. I bet she watched it. The other thing. All right. I wonder. I wonder if she's checking up on me. Because if you've been around a while, you probably know that I teach at James Madison University here in Harrisonburg, Virginia. And our school colors are purple and gold. You might just think I love the color purple, but it also is I can wear purple at work. Well, I can wear anything at work, but I wear a lot of purple at work. And look at this dress, you guys. It Purple and gold. So let's talk about these outfits. Uh, I, th <laughs> I think Miranda's checking up on me. And that's good because, girl, you got me. So this dress, it's sort of a shift dress cut, but... A lot of times shift dresses aren't flattering on me because they hug the midsection. This is perfect. 
I don't know if it's just the, it's the fabric is just flowy enough to be flowy, but just structured enough to have structure. It's also some of the softest fabric I've ever felt. I also love plaid anything. I also love exposed zippers. Plus it's a silver exposed zipper, my preference over gold. Plus the exposed zipper is in the front so I can see it. And it's not just in the back for everyone else to see. Like you put all these things together and it's like, I can't even handle it. Like, like, yeah, I love this dress. Absolutely love it. It's one of those dresses that I'm sure you could make it more preppy looking if you wanted to, but you know me, I like to make everything look punk. And so love it. And then a purple jacket to go with it. So this jacket, it's a stretch jacket. I rolled the sleeves up, of course, but it, it's a button down sleeve, like a traditional long sleeve jacket. The only thing is that the, it doesn't have side pockets. It only has the pockets like the breast pockets. So I wish it had side pockets, but it's super stretchy, super comfortable, lightweight enough that I think I'm going to get a good amount of use out of it. Like even three seasons, definitely spring and fall and probably even in the evenings on the summer nights. So super freaking stoked about this outfit. I love it. Miranda, thank you. It's freaking fabulous. So Miranda says, of course, don't hold back. Let us know what you thought. Collaborate on your next box if you want to add some pieces. Yada, 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 XO Miranda. Oh, let's talk about, we have to check the prices on the last two items. The dress is the Denver sleeveless dress from Sabrina Blue in yellow and charcoal gray, size 20, retail price $68. The Carrie denim jacket is from Molly and Isadora. It is in purple, size 3X, retail price $69. So if we were to total this up at full re retail price, all five items come to a total of $266. If I keep anything from the box, I will get my $20 styling fee credited back to me. If I keep the entire box, I will get 25% off, which is a discount of $66.50. And lucky me, Dia just started a new rewards program based on as you get more boxes and you buy items from your boxes, you earn you know, loyalty points or whatever you want to call them. And at my level of loyalty, I think I made it to the top level pretty quickly because I buy most of my boxes. The I get an additional 15% off this box, a little promotion thing, which is an additional $39.90 off. So if I keep the whole box, it would come to a total of $139.60. That's about, was it $27, $28 per item? That's a really reasonable price for all name brand stuff. I. That's why I love Dia. If you get yourself a stylist that really gets you, you're going to get boxes that you enjoy the whole box or you'll enjoy four out of the five things and it's just cheaper to keep the whole box. And then it becomes a really good deal. I mean, yeah, these things are, you know, retail prices normally, but when you stack all the discounts, it's really a good deal for really nice stuff. And for the service, I, I just love this company. I love everything about them. I actually was on their website today and I had never looked up anything about the creator of the company and she is just this gorgeous, awesome woman and bravo. So bravo, Dia. Bravo. Bravo all around. Spoiler alert, you guys could have guessed this by now. I'm keeping the whole box. Of course I'm keeping the whole box. This box is brilliant. Miranda, you're brilliant. You're not allowed to leave Dia ever. You must stay there forever. I love you. Thank you. Don't ever leave me, please. <laughs> I know, I know. Dramatic, dramatic, like these lashes. What do you think about these guys? I can like see them in two different mirrors at the same time and it's freaking me out. So these, let's just talk makeup for a minute because I have to. The, did you guys see, some of you love Tati, some of you can't stand her. I like her. You know, I take her, her product reviews with a grain of salt, especially on the inexpensive items. She knows her luxury stuff though. I will give her that. I've, I've agreed with her on every luxury thing ever, but anyway, let's not get into that whole thing. 
the she did a video recently trying out the new kiss magnetic lashes the ones that have the magnetic eyeliner not the ones that have the upper and the lower that clip together i tried those they were a nightmare but she actually liked these and i just couldn't believe it so i bought some because of course that's what you do when you don't believe somebody you go out and buy it and try it yourself that's what i do anyway so when I first bought them, I couldn't get the one that she loved in the video. Uh, but the ones I wore, I was able to get, I was able to get this one. It's crowd pleaser, I think that says. Why does it not want to focus? There we go. So I'm wearing crowd pleaser right now. I did a quick little IGTV video on my application of it the first time I was putting them on, which was today. And... I like them, you guys. I, I'm kind of shocked. Like, you can actually tug on them, and they're not they are not going to blow away in a windstorm. Like, they are you can't yank them, because of course they're just magnets. But when you apply them, you feel the magnet, boop, just like suck to your eyeball. And then when you pull them off, you got to give them a little tug to get them off there. Now, I did have to trim them. I trimmed off the little end of both of them. And the only downside of that is that the ends are magnets. So you lose one of the five magnets if you need to trim them. But they were way too long on me. Like, no way I could... Even at this length, they're pretty long. Right? Like, they're pretty long. So, but the, the other thing, I'm pretty sure that if I was just doing a thin, tiny little line of eyeliner... It probably wouldn't be enough to hold them. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe it would be. But I'm wearing pretty thick liner. Now, I did my liner with my regular liquid liner first. because I and, I and all of this liner is not the Kiss liner. It's just some of it. Just along my lash line, I did the Kiss liner. But, yeah, and here it is. The Kiss Magnetic Eyeliner. So, I'm... But I'm... I'm freaking impressed. Like... I was wearing them while I was changing my clothes, pulling outfits on and off over my head, and they didn't budge. And then I had to take them off because I thought I was done filming, and then I realized I filmed this whole video with the microphone turned off. So I had to set everything back up and put the lashes back on, and I did not have to touch up the eyeliner. They still went right back on, and no problems at all. So it, for days when I'm going to wear liner, like a thick liner... I'm pretty stoked. They're, they feel exactly like wearing glue lashes. Like, they just feel like wearing lashes. So, if you're okay with that, then these might be the ones that Tati had. Charm? Maybe. These might be the model that she tested. Model, whatever you call it. I have one more in the box here. Oh my god, you guys, I did so much shopping with the sales and everything. And everything's just in a box and I haven't been able to sort through it all yet. It's crazy town over here. There's like makeup everywhere. I'm wearing the new... <sighs> Why can't you all like live on my block? It wouldn't matter because we'd have to social distance anyway. But uh, if we all got to hang out, it would be so much fun. I got my Wayne Goss glosses today, so I ordered the whole entire set of glosses because I love lip gloss and I love Wayne Goss. So I have them all. I'm wearing this one. And this is just the gloss, and I've been drinking out of a can of soda this whole entire evening, and it stayed put through filming, through trying on clothes. They stay put. Bravo. Uh... And I got three shades of the lipstick. I wish I could have bought the whole entire thing, but holy cow, you guys. Like, I know that even this was a whole lot of money. Uh, but I got three lipsticks. So I am going to do a lip swatch video of these. Oh, I'm so excited. It's so wonderful. I love everything. <laughs> this is what makeup does to me. It's like my natural high. Like, who needs drugs? Just buy makeup. All right. There you have it. That's enough ridiculous chatter out of my mouth for a while. If you enjoy these fashion haul try on kinds of videos, give me a thumbs up down below. I'm going to have a torrid haul coming soon. If you saw on my IG stories, like I just ordered so much stuff. I had like, you know how torrid does. I can't shut up tonight, you guys. 
You know how Torrid has their Torrid cash? Well, with the whole pandemic, they've like extended how long you can hoard your Torrid cash. And so I hoarded $200 of Torrid cash. So I just placed an order with most of the stuff was 30% off. So I, that, and yeah, so I had like $420 worth of stuff, much of which was on sale already, then applied my Torrid cash. For, so for like $200, I'm getting like 15 things. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, so once that comes, I will do a try on haul for that. So if you like these kinds of fashion videos, thumbs it up because that's how I know to keep making them. I kind of use the thumbs up to figure out what's the most popular kind of content that I should be creating for you guys. Because if you don't want to watch it, then then I there's no point in me making it because I make it for you. So let me know. You like these? We'll keep doing them. And yeah, as always. Thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over fashion with me this time. Come back every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern time for new videos. I appreciate your time, and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.